Hey guys, DJ AJ101 with you here today, and I'm here today with the installation of the AMD Sapphire HD 7950 into my Mac Pro system here. Now this 7950 is actually going to be replacing my 5770 uh, video card that is also from AMD. It is also a Radeon card. So I'm hoping that this will be a good bump in performance because like I had said in the prior video of the unboxing of the HD 7950, uh, on paper this card looks like it's going to be pretty good, um, but I have seen some early benchmarks that indicate that it might not be as good as it actually looks, and especially for the price premium you do pay for this card to put it into a Mac. Uh, we'll definitely have to wait and see how it performs but anyways like I said I promise this I'm gonna show you guys the installation into my Mac Pro system here so what we're gonna do is first start by taking off the cover and uh, if you guys have ever opened up a Mac Pro system or if you're ever curious it is actually probably one of the simplest things to do in the world you just lift the lever on the back it unlocks the case and you take the side panel door off and you're all set to work on your Mac Pro and as always quick safety precaution always make sure that you're either touching metal hanging on to metal and uh, or just have one of those uh, wrist straps that discharges that static electricity you do not want to touch this card if you have static static buildup on you so looking at the Mac Pro system here as you can see there is my old card and I'm gonna show you guys the retaining bar that is actually holding these cards in place any cards that you put in the PCI Express slots in this Mac Pro are held in place by that bar there just two small screws uh, that attach it so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take those off and we're gonna be able to pull the card out right after that and as you guys can see this is actually a solid metal component uh, Apple definitely is not cheap out when it comes to this Mac Pro at least as far as the build quality and materials it's actually a solid metal and aluminum enclosure uh, this thing is actually very nice and looking down at the old card here as you guys can see it's rather dusty into my Mac Pro I haven't been in here in a while uh, it has one power connector there uh, going to my 50 5770 that I have currently in my Mac Pro. As you can see, it's a red card. It's black and red. Uh, it's sitting in uh, two slots, taking up two of the slots in the back of the Mac Pro system. The new 7950 actually is going to take up two power connectors. And as you guys can see, there's actually another one right next to the one there that has the power adapter on it. And to take out a card, it couldn't be simpler in the Mac Pro. You just slide this little component back. It's actually where the fan is housed. It tells you exactly what number the slots are on the Mac Pro. And it actually pulls back this little retaining bar that actually holds your cards into the Mac Pro itself. So this little bar will actually come back and it actually releases the cards so that they don't come out. So you actually have an extra layer of protection in there, making sure that these cards do not jiggle around. That retaining bar does a very good job. Here's the old card. Yes, again, rather dusty. It's an AMD. Uh, it's one that came originally with the Mac Pro uh, a couple of years ago when I had originally gotten it back in 2010. I think it's more like a few years old. This uh, Mac Pro is already three years old. And as you guys can see, it has too many display ports in the back as well as a full-sized DVR for your older style uh, display hookups. And this is what the Mac Pro looks like without the card. Still dusty, but you guys can see there's the numbering um, on the back panel that shows you exactly which card is which and how Apple has them numbered. And as you guys can see, there's the retaining bar and as well as the uh, battery uh, for the motherboard there so uh, your time doesn't get messed up. And here are the dual power connectors for the brand new 7950 card. Uh, they're brand new. I'm going to use both new ones here in the Mac Pro, even though I probably could use the older one that I originally had in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use both new ones because why not? AMD had included the two new ones with the Sapphire card here, so I figured why not just use both new. Uh, fresh start, brand new video card. We'll just use all brand new connecting cords here. And connecting them in is a little bit of a pain. you got to just make sure that you get in there. Uh, if you have bigger hands, it might be a little bit more of a pain than it is for me. My hands aren't necessarily huge. They're not exactly small. Uh, so they're pretty easy to get in. You slide them right into the board, and uh, they clip right in. So then you have power uh, for your card. And as you guys can see, I'm going to give you guys a close-up view of what they look like. So they're clipped right into the board there. And uh, just leave them hanging out. And then once you get the card in, you can connect them right up to the card. And if you guys did not see the prior video, definitely check it out at the end of this video. It was the unboxing of the Sapphire if you want to check that out. But here is the card out of the box. Again, nothing all that spectacular. It is in the platinum kind of white uh, to kind of give an idea that this is for the Mac since the Macs are kind of silver and the MacBooks are white. A uh, really nice color for the card. Like I said, I don't think it's going to age well uh, going forward in uh, years to come, especially with the dust building up and especially how we know how white plastics tend to get more yellow as uh, time goes on. But a very nice looking card uh, nonetheless, so we're definitely going to pop this guy into the Mac Pro. And again, very simple, just slide it right into the motherboard. If you guys have ever done any PC upgrading of components, 
It's uh, rather simple, nothing all that much to sweat about. Just make sure it lines up with the PCI Express slot and that it lines up with the uh, slot on the back of the card. Now I'm going to go ahead and connect the two power connectors as well. And just giving you guys another in-depth close look, here's the card uh, firmly seated into the Mac Pro now with the retaining bar back in place. I've connected the two power connectors, so now it does have power. And I just kind of uh, pushed them off to the side, making sure that they were not getting in the way of any additional cards that I might put in the future, as well as that uh, retaining bar as well. And as you guys can see out the back, it does have a full-sized DVI, as well as HDMI, and uh, two mini display ports as well. And I'm going to go ahead and put the retaining bar right into place once again. Again, it couldn't be simpler. You just screw this thing right on with your fingers, or if yours is, unlike mine, stripped, you can actually use a Phillips head screwdriver to put it back into place. And after it is back into place, we are now ready to close up the Mac Pro, making sure uh, that you always blow a dust, uh, you know, after every installation or before every installation is probably even better. Uh, you always want to make sure that you keep that uh, computer clean anytime you do do any upgrades or at least keep it clean once a year because a lot of dust is going to build up from the air and especially with uh, just sitting there, it's not moving uh, for a desktop computer. You just want to make sure you blow it out, make sure that uh, it remains clean and the airflow remains smooth so that you don't have any problems in the future. And just laying the Mac Pro again back on the floor, because this is going to be exactly uh, how we started this video, I'm going to put the um, cover right back on the Mac Pro. Again, very simple. Just make sure the lever on the side is up. Align the case cover. And then just uh, push the latch right down. And guess what? We are done. Uh, card is safely uh, seated into the Mac Pro. We are now ready to hook up all the cables and put it back up in its upright position. And uh, we are set to try out the card. So I will definitely be doing a follow-up video with a review of this card for you guys. As well as if you want to hit that like button right below this video. As well as that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel. I sure do appreciate that. That way you're always going to have new videos in your video feed whenever I post them. I try to keep my uh, content technical related. Technical unboxings, upgrades, stuff like this. As well as tech articles I might find interesting to share with you guys. Try to do a little bit of everything. But anyways guys, again that's going to about do it here for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great one until then, guys.